Hey, what is going on guys? So I just had a subscriber ask me how to upload videos directly from like your uh, iPhone uh, 10 or 10s, 10s Max or your iPhone uh, 10R or XR, okay? So basically when you record a video, you wanna be able to upload it directly to, directly to YouTube using a phone, okay? It's very, very simple and watch very closely too, okay? Especially if you wanna become a YouTuber and you wanna end up consistently uh, uploading videos to YouTube, okay? And we'll do everything by phone here. Okay, so first thing is this, is uh, let's just say that you went on and you recorded the video. Okay, let me just go ahead and record a video here. I'll just do a quick testing here. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I just made a video here. Let me go ahead and stop it. Now what I got to do is I have to go to my YouTube app. Let me tap on that. And then... Once you're in your YouTube app, first thing is you have to make sure that you're signed in. I see my avatar here, so I know that I'm in my World of Tech uh, YouTube account, okay? Now from here, you simply click on this, um, this icon of the video camera, okay? So tap on that, and then tap on video down here. And now I can go ahead and choose any video that I made prior or whatnot. Here's that last video I just made, seven seconds. I can tap on that, three, one, two, okay? Three, now... From here, I have very limited uh, editing uh, options, okay? I can basically trim it if I want to cut out the beginning of it. I can go ahead and move it over like that. If I want to cut out the, uh, the end, trim the end, I can move it in like that. And the editing with the uh, YouTube, uploading directly to YouTube is very, very limited. I'll show you how, um, how you can uh, go ahead and edit it a little bit more uh, in one second. But anyways, so we have this over here too. And this is basically the change the, uh, these are basically filters. If you want to like brighten it up, you know, you can see it changing there. You also have music here if you wanted to add music. Just click on that and click on add music here. And here's featured um, music all down here. And you have your genre here. You can tap on that and you can click on different genre. If you want something like cinematic, click on that. Then it'll give you a list on there as well. Okay. So once you're done this, the only thing you got to do is... Just click on next, okay? So let me just go back here. So here's my video again. And let's say everything is good the way I want it. Then you just simply click on next here. And then right from here, okay? So here's my World of Tech um, YouTube channel. And then right here, I can go ahead and type in a, uh, a title here, uh, iPhone, whatever. And then I can put a description in here as well. This is a you know how-to video, blah, blah, blah. And then down here under privacy. Now, if I click on this, I have three options here. I can do public, unlisted, or private. If I click on uh, public and then I click on upload, once the upload is done, it's automatically gonna be on public and everybody in the world will, will be able to see that video. You also have unlisted here. And this is basically, uh, you know, anybody that has this link will be able to see it. It's not gonna be public to everybody in the world. And you also have private down here. Okay, now what I typically do is I'll keep all my videos on private when I upload it directly from my iPhone. I'll keep it on private like this, and then I'll go ahead and select upload, okay? So it's on private now, and basically private means is the only person that can see it is me when I'm logged into it, okay? So I'll go ahead and upload it as private, okay? I'll go ahead and click on upload. Of course, you have to make sure you're connected to the uh, your home Wi-Fi network or um, uh, mobile data or whatnot. Of course, it's recommended to be on Wi-Fi, your home Wi-Fi network because it'll upload faster. So it's processing right now, and okay, so, wow, that was super quick because it's only eight second video, but it's already done uploading. It's in private because we can see that lock right there. Now what I would typically do is later on, you know, I'll upload all my videos from my iPhone to YouTube, and then later on I'll get on my computer and then I'll go ahead and, you know, put in a proper title and description, and then I'll make it public later. Okay, you also have the schedule on there where you can go ahead and schedule it if you wanted to become public, you know, say like five days from now at 2.30 p.m. or whatnot. Now, the thing is, now I just showed you, you know, how to upload on uh, YouTube, um, upload directly to YouTube. Like I said, you have very, very limited editing options, okay? If you wanted to actually edit more of the video, like let's say you want to cut out the middle part and do stuff like that, you wanted to be able to add text, what you can do actually is just go and search for iMovie. So if I tap on here, tap on iMovie here, and then look for your iMovie icon, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna open up iMovie first. You don't wanna open up your video and then go and look for iMovie. You wanna just open up iMovie by itself first, 
And then once this opens up, you can go ahead and click on the plus sign, and then you wanna click on movie. So click on movie, and then here's that second um, seven second video I just made. So I, I can tap on that, and then from here I will select create video. Okay, and I'll show you, I mean, you can do so many more things like this. So here's a seven second video. Let me just, uh, let me just tap on that. So let's just say I wanted to split this middle part here. I can click on split, and then I wanted to split this in here. Maybe I coughed or something like that. I can click split again. So this middle part, I can go ahead and tap on that, and I can go ahead and delete it right there. So it'll basically skip that middle part. Testing four, okay, so. And then of course, you know, you can add text in here. I can go ahead and put um, standard text. You know, I can, I can go ahead and write something in here. Like for instance, hello and whatnot. So I think you get the general point. So, you know, once you're done this, you can go ahead and click on done and then tap down here. And then you can go ahead to, um, you want to click on save video. So it saves video then it's gonna go directly into my gallery. And then you can put it to uh, 720p or 1080p. I'll just tap on 1080p. And now it's exporting, and now it's gonna be saved into my gallery, okay, my, my Photos app. So then from here, you can go ahead, again, you can go ahead and go into your uh, YouTube, and then uh, click on the, um, the, the video icon right there, tap on video, and that last video, I just edited it instead of, it was seven seconds and then I cut the middle part out. So now it's six seconds. I can tap on that. Okay, one, two, three. And then uh, I can go ahead and add like filters and music. Click on next, add your title, description. And again, down here, privacy, you can put it to private, unlisted. And uh, yeah, there's usually a schedule down here. I don't know why it's not showing schedule. Maybe to do the scheduling where I wanted to be able to be public at a certain time. I had to do it, actually do it on my computer. Anyways, like I said, I just typically just leave it on private. And then later on when I have time, I'll go ahead and actually put in a proper description, a proper title and whatnot. So there you guys go. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, just comment below. If it's an easy video to make, then I'll just go ahead and make it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.